just want you guys to take in how my guy's resting his leg right now. <laughs> anyway, that's all. Hello, welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls Part 46. Here I am, I'm uh, some sort of uh, edgy Robin Hood, I guess you could say. Um, same spells as last time, just because why not. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and I picked up the Covenant of Arcturus, as well as kindled this bonfire here. Um, oh, actually I lied. So let's do that right now. <laughs> let's kindle this bonfire, because... We gotta fight our way through some forest hunters as well as um, fight Sif, who on New Game Plus could be challenging. Maybe uh, we'll see. Either way, let's uh, not waste a second here and start making our way in. Yeah, last time we started doing some work in Darker Garden, right? Like we killed the butterfly. Um, ooh, one more thing. Let's, let's level up, right? We have a lot of souls on us. And we're actually gonna be using Wrath of the Gods pretty soon, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead um, and make our way in. So remember, the hat that we're wearing is, uh, we actually got it from around here. It was way over there. There was like some archer lady. Ah, ooh. Yeah, we, we don't have much poison. <laughs> okay, and we don't seem to either. Okay, so we can consistently get a 1-2 combo in. Oh man, those stabs are coming out so fast. Whoa. Okay, well, just barely. Alright, so that one doesn't respawn. So let's... <gasps> Guys, I've been invaded! This is a wonderful thing. Okay, we're finally, finally gonna do some PvP stuff. Okay, so this is uh, how PvP works. Uh, ooh, all right, I'm, I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> Great first invader, right? Um, how nice of him. Anyway, in the forest area, um, the forest hunters, right? They actually... That includes everyone in the Covenant. Um, ooh, let's get let's get some backup. How about that? Um, yeah, they... Uh, the way it works is if you're in the Covenant and you wear the ring, um, you can randomly get summoned to basically just invade anyone that just walks through here, right? So, as soon as you walk through their gate, and, uh, yeah, this is, oh wait, this is our first summoning. So, um, yeah, let's say hello. This is how summoning works with other players. Um, it's just like with NPCs, except this is an actual person. Um, so, I wonder if he watches my videos. Oh, and here's our invader. So, let's, uh, oh yeah. Okay. Uh, we've aggroed. Oh yeah, so he's gonna run and just get the NPCs. And it sounds like some backup is coming in. Yeah, so uh, things can get very hectic here in the forest. As you can see, um, oh, looks like there's not too much uh, networking. And yeah, so this is what I was mean <laughs> when I was saying that the, uh, oh, nice, I got him. That the connections in Dark Souls is not that good. So as you saw, he was just kind of standing there. Um, so thankfully, our buddy is helping us take out the other one while we take out the thief here. And it looks like even NPCs are network delayed. <laughs> right, so let's fight the this guy ourselves. So Dark Souls PvP is kind of all about spacing and timing, just like any other fighting game, right? Like, I want to try to catch him as he's doing his attack. Or... Basically, like, I want to draw out an attack, be just out of range for it, and then start my attack so that it... The timing is that I can, uh, hit him before he can, uh, you know, roll away while he's still in the middle of doing his attack. Um, oh no! Well... <laughs> this all as well as ends well, right? Um... <laughs> well, thanks, Rolo. You, you helped us fight the invaders, but we actually came out on top, which I'm very, very happy about. And, um, yeah, I think that's going to sort of, like, reset the timer a little bit, right? Like, um, we won't get invaded for a minute here. Just because we did get again, which makes sense, because otherwise we would just be getting swarmed. <laughs> but at the same time, I know, like, uh, the Forest Hunters is kind of like the Free Radical Covenant, where just, like, it is just, like, sort of no rules, and 
insane situations like that do kind of happen. It's a very fun covenant to be in. Um, I'm going to try to wear the ring a little bit uh, here when I join up. And we'll see if we get summoned. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes. I believe we would suit thee well. Uh, so yep, we'll join up. I am. And, and yes, yeah, she's going to tell us the rules and all that. If mine senses reveal intruder, first I shall summon up. Thou shalt risk. So, yeah, just like she said, um, if she summons intruder, she will summon us. So, let's go ahead and um, we probably don't need Havel's Ring right now because we're going lightweight. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, replace that with our Covenant Ring. Uh, right here, Cat Covenant Ring. Um, oh, and right away, it's looking for worlds to invade. Um, so we'll let, we'll let that go in the background. Um, oh, and just like that. All right, let's go, guys. <laughs> All right, I'm really happy about this, right? Like, we've had no PvP. I'm worried about that. Everything has been dead, but uh, this might be a better uh, world. <laughs> or rather, this, this could be a good covenant. Oh, look, it's our buddy from before. Let's go say hello. Let's see if he recognizes us. Okay. I don't know if he recognizes us, but either way, we have to fight now. Okay. Oh, that didn't do much. <laughs> um... Okay, so now it's me and the host versus this guy. Or no, him and the host versus me. Okay, so as long as I kill the host, I win, is how invasions work. Ow. Okay, well, if you're gonna assist, then so am I. Yeah, so there's like somewhat of an etiquette with PvP is um, if you want to be honorable, right, like don't Estus, but like it's not that it's unhonorable to Estus, like you can do it if you want. Just sort of keep in mind that like once you start Estusing, other people are probably going to start Estusing. Oh, they got me. Well, GG. <laughs> I, I like this covenant because it's all about fun, right? Um, when you get pulled into your world, like, uh, and you come, and if you die on an invasion, I don't think you lose souls or your humanity. Yeah, see, like, uh, you, it does send you back to the bonfire, though. So just keep that in mind. But um, kind of want to go back to the bonfire anyway. So I'd say that's what we But yeah, as you saw there, uh, you sort of have to manage multiple opponents, and um, lag does not help at all. <laughs> Um, but yeah, when you're fighting multiples, um, a cool trick uh, that I kind of learned from Mordhau, um, speaking of which, I do want to make some Mordhau videos one day. Um, not good enough yet, but anyway, one trick with Mordhau that I learned from them is that when you're fighting multiple attackers, um, switching back and forth your focus, um, I'll just talk to Shiva just in case, uh, is a good way to sort of like mix things up and don't great. what I mean by that is like I'm squaring off with the, the guy with the big sword, right? And then the other guy is like trying to be all sneaky coming around me. If I start my attack while facing the big sword and then switch to fight, smack the other guy, he'll be caught by surprise and it's going to be easier to land. Because like, normally it's very... Oh, well, are we already going for another world? <laughs> um, but yeah, like it's really easy just like if you just go back and forth. Like most attacks take so much time that like people can have time to dodge and I just noticed that I am mid-rolling now so I think I do need my Havel's Ring. Uh, I'll tell you what, we got some PvP and I'm not gonna I'm gonna take this off now. Uh, let's put our Havel's Ring back on. I think. Cool. All right and let's go. Uh, but yeah switching back and forth will catch them off guard because otherwise like if you're just doing normal attacks while squaring off then um, it's gonna be very easy for your opponent to uh, just react and dodge. So yeah, um, fighting in general is all about just confusing your opponent and mixing up um, fighting players at this, right? Um, player versus player is a completely different dynamic than player versus environment. Because when you're fighting these NPCs or these enemies, they're just like essentially robots that are programmed to fight 
a very specific way, which means it's more about learning and adapting to the pattern as opposed to like when you're fighting players, right? Like there's a general sort of strategy that you can go in with, but there's it's more about like learning the specific opponent as opposed to learning how to fight players, if that makes sense. Even though that is its own skill. So anyway, let's come to fight stuff here. I'll let the cutscene go and then you'll see how it goes down when he does not recognize us. That's his good old friend. Just goes right to it. Oh well. Okay. Alright, let's see how this goes. So, like with most big bosses, it's all about just staying as close as you can. I think that's what catches a lot of new players, um, is that just if you if you fight with fear, right? Like and you fight with just like reactions and what your gut says, you're gonna end up having a harder time. Because like, and this is just like a concept of fighting is that in general is that the closer you are, like this doesn't just apply to Dark Souls is what I mean, but sometimes, uh, and this isn't universal, but oftentimes the safest spot to be is just really close to your enemy since it jams them up. The thing is, if you're not experienced with fighting and like you don't know of that, like it goes against what your instincts tell you, right? Like your instincts say, "Back up, run away." There's a big dog with a sword in its mouth. Like you can't, you can't go near that. And he hurt me there. Um, yeah, like I guess saying, as you can see, when we're right under Sif, his sword can't hit us. But when we're far away and running away scared, he's gonna, he's gonna be chopping us up. It's almost to the point where it's like. Um, it almost feels cheap and easy, right, <laughs> to fight him like this. But then it's, then like that goes back to the whole challenging thing is like, you know, do I just put arbitrary restrictions on myself to make things harder? Like, but then like, how far does that rabbit hole go down? <laughs> uh, like, oh, I could fight. Like, sure, I could not go under. Like, we could say that, but then it's like, oh, we gotta make it harder. Like, I have to fight him with no armor with an unupgraded weapon it's like okay <laughs> there's challenges and then there's just like masochism right like some of the challenges that i see in dark souls um they can be really cool but some of them are just straight up like why are you doing this to yourself like um uh, then again like there's a fine line right like i saw this one cool challenge recently called uh, where the guy modded the game to uh replace every enemy with win which was really awesome Okay, here, let's, uh, oh, look, look, here, this is what I was talking about before. See, look, he's lip limping now. Uh, not before, but this was back in the original playthrough. If you remember, I tried to get him down to low health to demonstrate this, but look, he's low on health, he's, like, limping now, and then like, straight up one day attacks, he's gonna, like, lose his bounce. But yeah, everything's all slow now. Uh, okay, killing him with an abyss <laughs> spell seems a little too cruel. So, it seems kind of fitting. I just, just want him to, like, lose his balance. Alright. I don't I won't let this go on too long. Because <laughs> this does just feel cruel. Right? Come on. Alright, it might be when I smack him, maybe. Right now he's back up. Is he gonna or not? This just this just looks cruel what I'm doing now. <laughs> just punching the dog. That's the thing I'm scared. Alright. Uh yeah, okay, I don't think he's gonna, so let's just put him out of his misery. Bye, Sif. You're a good boy. But we, uh, we needed that covenant. Anyway, big bow for, for our boy Sif. And a lot of souls, though. Very nice.
Um, but yeah, we will carry the legacy on from. Uh, let's grab another horn ring, because why not? But yeah, the main reason we did that was for the Covenant of Artois, which, as we remember, that lets us traverse the abyss. If you're wondering, why do we need to traverse the abyss so early? Uh -huh. so, um, we're going to be getting to that. So before we get to that, though, I actually I'm go back to Firelink Shrine. Uh, oh, that is on the way to the abyss, really. <laughs> but uh, we're actually going to be making a detour somewhere else before we do that. Um, so let me level up here real quick. Ooh, can I get into Red Link Gods? Yes, we can. Okay, so let's uh, attune that spell right away. Um, Okay, let's replace this with Wrath of the Gods, I guess. Yep, and then... Let's see. Let's go with a Pyromancy. How about... Actually, let's use Black Flame. That seems kind of cool. That's like a, an Abyss Pyromancy, so... Um, the way that works, we'll just quickly show it, is that it's just like Great Combustion, except it's like mixed in with Dark Damage, which is really cool. Which, I think in Dark Souls 1 means that it's just part physical damage. Because uh, I don't think they actually made a dark element until the Dark Souls 2. Just like you have like magic, you have fire. And then you have physical, and then lightning. I think that's all that there is in Dark Souls 1. Anyway, um, since we've got a bit of a journey um, ahead of us, I am going to just go ahead and cut to me too over at Carling Shrine. Okay, so, um, slight change of plans. Um, we were going to go to the catacombs next, um, but we're actually going to go stop by the uh, asylum, since uh, we don't actually need anything there, but part of New Game Plus is that I want to finish all the bosses off again, so we're going to have to go there eventually. Um, and we don't quite have enough time to go into the catacombs, um, so I figure we'll just quickly swing by the, the asylum, kill the demon, get ourselves a nice see tight night slab and then uh, we could be all wrapped up there so go ahead and curl up like a ball and wait a long time not too long but <laughs> longer than I would like One thing I think I'm missing with this build, like, so, I was, like I said at the beginning, um, oh man, just like that, we're going. Uh, we've seen that cutscenes, we're just gonna skip. Um, but yeah, this being the Robin Hood build, I do wish I had a good bow. Um, that is my biggest regret from rushing New Game Plus, is that I didn't upgrade the composite bow like I said I wanted to. Um, oh man, let's actually take these guys out from a distance. Um, yeah, because we actually can't upgrade to plus 15 until we get the uh, embers. Now, the good news is that since we are going to New Londo early, we're actually going to have access to the big ember pretty quickly. Um, in fact, we're probably going to get it before we get the uh, large ember. Uh, so, we're actually not going to be able to use it because we're going to be stuck at plus five. But, uh, no big deal. Uh, we're going to be going to the depths relatively early anyway. So, whenever we do go ahead and grab that, we'll be able to uh, just make our. Plus 15 bow. And then we'll we'll be Robin Hood again at some point. For now we're just uh we're sort of Robin Hood. Whatever, whatever that is. <laughs> uh should I go through Oh actually we also have to pick up the peculiar bell. I forgot about that. And we also gotta fight Oscar. So uh, let's do all that. So Oscar's gonna be pissed because I just killed him last time instead of doing the dialogue. And we're just gonna change strong attack him again. Ooh. Okay, okay. And that'll do. Alright. GG. Awesome. <laughs> Let's see, I guess I'll grab a shield. I don't want that to just rot away and rust into nothing down here. Uh, so, speaking of the rust, we don't need to go up and grab that. We actually do keep the. Uh, Rust of Iron Ring, and I'll move it real quickly here, uh, since we should have it in our inventory. Yep. So I don't have to get that. So we can just start working our way here. And oh, actually, you know what? Let's be efficient. 
Um, after we kill the boss down there, we'll actually be put right by the peculiar doll. So let's go do that. And the key is that I need to not die. Okay, so that's that. Now let's go fight the boss. Uh, what spells do I have? Um, ooh, that's right. I have Wrath of the Gods now. Um, so I guess I can showcase this. Uh, yep, so just, you spit a big bubble out of you. <laughs> and then you're... Then you're cooking. So, let's uh, go fight the boss. Um, so thankfully, okay, he got turned around, which is very nice. As long as you don't get cheesed in that initial drop, I think uh, it's not too bad. Then, um, yeah, so this boss has a lot of health, which means on New Game Plus he's going to have, like, a stupid amount of health. But we are doing work, right? Like, each level up is making us gradually stronger, remember that, um, since our sword scales with faith and intelligence. So we are actually able to keep up with a lot of these bosses, which is very nice, even as they scale up in New Game Plus. Now, granted, our armor is not going to be scaling up, so we're only going to be getting squishier. <laughs> Technically not squishier, we're as squishy as we're going to be, um, depending on how much light armor I, I use. We can feel very squishy. Um, I'll probably be naked at least at one point, just to <laughs> showcase the naked build. Um, but that time is not now. Let's see, who would be a good fight? Maybe Pinreal will do that. This guy, okay, we're already almost halfway, so this is going very smoothly. Okay, that might have been a mistake. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, not too bad. Remember, this boss, his death spiral is when he starts cornering you and blasting you, and the blast sends you farther into the corner. And you don't have before your animation for getting up finishes, he's already starting his next attack. That we should be fine. That's the thing with most Dark Souls bosses, um, once you know the pattern and you know how to stay safe, it's like they're actually very easy. <laughs> so, which uh very famous last words, so be careful when you say that. I'm just gonna finish him off before he can even attack there. So that one was, I'd say, too easy to almost. <laughs> yeah, two bosses in one episode. It's been a while since we've done one of those. Get ourselves a slab for our trouble. Okay, and here's the way I was talking about. Climb back up here. And it'll place us right here through this window. We can drop down a little one-way drop. And right over there is the last thing we want. Two hit can stagger them, yeah. So now he's on the defensive, he knows he's in trouble. Oh, okay. No, no. Okay, there we go. And another red junk. So there is one more knight in here. Um, actually. I do, I want to make a chaos weapon at some point, so I'm wondering, okay, I have plenty of chunks, so we're good actually. There's a peculiar doll. So I think that's everything here, right? Yeah, so maybe a few more small items, but we don't really care about those. There's no more bone out. Um, now we do have to make our way back to Firelink, which is a little, little annoying, but whatever, right? You out. So I guess that is one of the benefits come back here um, once you can teleport but I don't care that much so let's snipe some of these guys here um, get to, we'll use another wrath of gods and oh yeah so you have way more range than I originally thought here, here in fact we'll just do this <laughs> that, wow we sent him flying off so yeah wrath of the gods <laughs> is a fun miracle because if you really, if you become like a dedicated faith build, it, this does like a lot of damage too. Um, but we're not. But we're still doing like decent damage. And that's what I wanted to say before about Dark Bead um, that we were using earlier. 
Um, I think it was in the last episode where like I used it and I was like, oh my god. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, we were doing that much damage with like just 20 intelligence, right? So that's what I was saying before is like if you just be some min maxi cheap character that just gets to like level 40 and does nothing but or like just spams up to 40 intelligence without leveling up anything like you'll be in like a mid game area with like just maximum magic damage and uh yeah you can just one shot everybody pretty much and i'm sure you've been a victim of someone doing that you know, going on a power trip but you know whatever uh so now that we have the faith we need let's get our intelligence up because uh one weapon i do want to showcase is the moonlight great sword and that requires some intelligence <laughs> uh, more than we have like, let's quickly check here um, God, there's so many weapons. Uh, let's see, Black Knight Great X. We're going to be using that guy eventually. Um, did I go past it? It's over Black Knight. Um, oh, you know what? It's probably my box. I just realized. Yeah, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it's in there, so I'm just not going to bother. Um, okay, so yeah, that's. Pretty much it then. Uh, yeah, so we're going to the catacombs next, and the catacombs are that way. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm actually getting a phone call, so let's wrap it up, guys. Um, hope you had fun watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.